Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In the past, I have created a Fusion X workflow WAN 2.1 that supported safe tensors but required more VRAM to run. I received many comments requesting support for GGUF. So I have recreated a new Fusion X workflow that supports GGUF for text to video and image to video generation. Best of all, it can run with as little as 2 GB of VRAM. It also allows older WAN 2.1 14B 720p models to run in just 10 steps. To download the workflow, you need to visit aistudynow.com and download it from there. You will need to complete a one time verification process and once that's done, you can instantly download any workflow from aistudynow.com. In this workflow, we have used several GGUF quantized models that are available for download on Hugging Face. These models support both text to video and image to video generation. So here is a list of the available models. Q2, K to Q8 zero quantization levels you can download these models and save them in your diffusion model folder choosing the quantization level based on your systems vram so if you have 2 gb vram it's recommended to use q3 or q4 models and in this video i'll also be comparing the q4 and q8 models to show the differences in performance and quality. Additionally, you can download the WAN 2.1 I2V image to video 720p model, which now only takes 5 steps to generate high quality results, an improvement from the previous 10 steps. So this workflow includes a LoRa section where you can optionally use the following models. First is Coswood 14B V2. Next, Light X2E, which helps generate videos in fewer steps. Then comes MPS, which enhances face details. Then Realism Boost. And the last one is Detail Enhancer V1, which improves overall detail in the output. So you can bypass any of these LoRa's if you don't want to use them. Simply disable the group in the workflow to skip all LoRa. Many users may not have Sage Attention or Triton installed. But I highly recommend installing both for better performance. However, if you don't have them, you can safely bypass that group in the workflow. This way, you won't encounter any errors. This workflow for low VRAM users, here is note, which you must know how to use that. And to run this workflow without encountering an out of memory error, follow these steps and bypass the unloader GGUF multi GPU node and bypass all other unit loader nodes. Next, connect the multi GPU node to the LoRa loader model only. In the unit name selector, choose your model and set the device to CUDA 0. Make sure to enable use other VRAM, set it to true. And now under virtual VRAM GB, start with a value of 0 0.1 and keep generating. If you still get a memory allocation error, increase the value from 0.1 to 0.4 and try again. So this method allows you to run the workflow even on systems with limited VRAM. And lastly, if you are doing text to video, make sure to bypass the image to video group. Similarly, if you are doing image to video, bypass the text to video group. So let's start generating and put this workflow to the test by creating some text to video examples. While generating, 
will also try out different LoRa's to see which ones work best for us. So first, let's compare the models and see how they perform. And to begin, make sure to disable the image to video group as we are working with text to video in this case. So first, I use the Van 2.1 14B Fusion X Q4 model and I bypass the first three LoRa's since they don't work well with the Fusion model. You can enable Realism Boost and Detail Enhancer V1. But make sure to select the correct model. It should be the T2E text to video version not I2E. And here I use the prompt. A close up of a grizzled knight standing atop a blood soaked battlefield at dusk. Sword tip resting in the mud etc etc. So I hit generate and let's wait for the result. So here is the result and as you can see the output looks really good using the Q4 model. So now let's try another test this time without any LoRa's using the same prompt. From our testing you may notice that you actually get better results without using LoRa's. So if you are using the Fusion X model, it's best to disable the LoRa section. It works great on its own. Now we are going to generate a result using the Q8 model with the same prompt and settings as before. As you can see in the comparison between Q4 and Q8, the sword placement looks more accurate in Q8. However, Q4 still looks very good, especially considering it can run smoothly on just 4 GB of VRAM, which is a huge advantage. So if you are comparing both, feel free to use the Q4 model as well, especially if you are working with limited resources. Now we will compare with VEN 2.1 14B model Q8 in without Fusion X which you can enable the LoRa and using the same prompt as we used before. Now you will notice the result is quite impressive before this model used to take around 30 steps to generate a good result but now it can be done in just 5 to 10 steps. As you saw in the result, the VEN 2.1 model with LoRa's actually looks better than the Fusion X model without LoRa's. So if you are using LoRa's, this could be a great option for higher quality outputs. Just in 2 minutes. Now, for image to video generation, you need to disable the text to video section and enable the image to video group. Then. Make sure to use the correct model here and I2V model. So first, I'll try the VEN 2.1 720p Q8 model, not Fusion X using the LoRa. We'll use the same image and the same prompt as in the previous tutorial. As you can see, the result looks really good. It's still very similar in quality to the Fusion X model even without it. Now let's try the Q8 Fusion X model. If you are using the Fusion X model, make sure to disable the LoRa group and then generate the result. So finally, this is the result which I think is good but feel free to decide for yourself which one meets your requirements better. That's all for today's video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next one and happy generating.